Well, good evening, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. Today, well, I'm with my very bestest fishing buddy, Rocky Drake. And what we're going to do today is live bait fish. Yep. We got two big tubs full of the biggest thread fin shad I've ever seen. Beautiful bait. Beautiful bait. We're going to target largemouth bass, maybe some big stripe, uh, smallmouth bass, uh, hybrid stripe. Just, hey, with this live bait right here, you, I mean, about anything in the river will eat it. So You're right. You know, you're right. You never know what you're going to catch, and that's kind of the fun of fishing with it, really, to be honest with you. It is. You never know, folks. So stay with us, and let's see if we can catch a few fish here at Guntersville Dam. Yep. Woo! <laughs> okay, folks, what I mean by bait is this is Rocky's Extreme Bait Tank, and it is full. Let me get one out, Richard. Show, folks. This yeah. is the size that we have. Looky there, what a big, big thread fin shad. Now, here in North Alabama, we call them yellowtails. But they're actually thread fin shad. But primo bait, folks. Right, filet mignon. <laughs> filet mignon. I'm set up with one, two. And we both have got a bait full of shad. And all we got to do, look here, folks. All we got to do is catch fish. So I'm going to show you our rigs and what we're going to be doing today. Okay, folks, to answer y'all's question, I know it went through your mind. Um... We have two bait tanks here for a reason. You don't want to overload these bait tanks, especially right now, do you, Rocky? No, especially with big bait like this. And with big primo bait like this, that's why we're doing it. All right, folks, let's talk about tackle, what I'm using. Rocky's using basically the same thing. There's a little bit of difference. This is a seven and a half foot medium action sow belly rod. The reason I like these rods is because they're lightweight. Real lightweight. You can fish with them all day and not be tired. And I'm using a 3000 size Daiwa Fago loaded with 15 pound test braid. Now I'm not using fluorocarbon today. I'm using mono. I want the stretch value because we could hook some big fish. So I want that stretch today. I'm using a double uni knot, but I'm using a long leader. This leader is probably about 30 feet long, folks. This is a size three split shot down to a size one alt Gamagatsu octopus hook. And that's what we're doing. Now that's a snail knot. I use a snail knot because of the offset in the shank. If the shank, if the eyelet is away from the shank of the hook, then I'll go straight through, then, then put a, a snail knot. That's just my opinion. But let's, let's go ahead and bait one of these up. These are some big, big bait. Now, what I'm going to do is go through both lips, just like this through the bottom and out through the nostril, just like that. Okay, let's drop it down there and see what we got. Now I've got my split shot about 16 inches below. <clears throat> above my hook. Okay, we're gonna let it go to the bottom and see what's down there. Oh my, that shad is nervous. Matter of fact, the fish has got him, folks. Look here, y'all see that? Now I'm gonna release that braid like that, and we're gonna stick him, are y'all ready? There he is. See what we got right here? It's a pretty good fish right here. <laughs> It's probably a bass. Pretty good bass. My, my, my. Big spotty bass. You know, they ain't nothing like this, Rocky. That's a chunk. 
My goodness. I, we, uh, we can, I can get him. That's a good fish right there. Folks, I want y'all to look at what a fish. Golly, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Look what a belly on that. Look what a small mouth. This is a perfect. I got to show y'all this one. This is a beautiful spotted bass. And folks, it's not very often that I catch a spotted bass that good. That's obviously a female. Got to be a female. But this fish is perfectly proportioned. Look how thick. Look at that little mouth. Probably the size of a small mouth. These fish in this river are beautiful. Let's let her go. My, 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 my. What a hard pulling rascal. Hey, get on back in there. There she goes. She'll get her balance right here in a second. There she went. That air bladder's got to, there she goes. Straight Ooh. back down in there, boy. That's how you do it. Rocky, let's catch another. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, before we go back to fishing, let's just go ahead and discuss the fact why. Oh, my goodness. Get him, get him. <laughs> That's a bass. That's a bass. That's a bass. Let's watch it. We'll see him rise right here, folks. No, it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. I see him. It's a hybrid, Rocky. Yes, it's about six pounder, about five, five, or, five or six pound hybrid. Show is. Yeah. <laughs> Look, at here. Look at there. Do you need me to net him? Oh, he ain't five or six. I don't know. He's a good one. He's a good one. I'll take him. Yep. Look at there. That's three different, spe four species we've caught in 15 minutes. But that's a little hybrid right there. See the broken lines? Right here in this current, where it's coming around into this wall right here, they're just kind of stacked up. You know, they could be a 40 or 50, they could be a 30 pounder come around that thing. My goodness. But let's get back to what we were saying. I'll tell you, we're having a ball out here, folks. This wall is attracting different species of fish large mouse, spotted bass, white bass. Now, Rocky caught a hybrid. Anything that swims here at this dam, this would be a good place to fish. The reason why is the current is coming over this wall right here, causing an eddy. Shad will accumulate in these areas, thus attracting game fish. You need another sinker? All right, let's let that bait. I got a fresh shad on, folks. Let's let it go back and see what else we can get bit with. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's a good sign when you see hybrid bass in here. A big one could be come around the end of that wall when you're talking about a fight. The reason why I'm using braid, braid works wonders when it comes to current situations. It's just a good, good deal. Whether you use mono leader or fluorocarbon, braid is the way to go in current. You can feel the fish better. You can get a direct hook set, a more of a direct jolt on that fish. There we go. All right, Rocky. Rocky's on again. Got a big minner eater, I think. Big white bass. Big white bass. Well, they're fun to catch. Yep. Wow, that's a good one. Oh my, that was a good bite right here, Rocky. Folks, that was a good bite right here. Let's see if he's still there. Oh yeah, y'all ready? That's a good fish right here. That's a real good fish. That's a real good fish. I don't know what we got, but it's a good one. And I knew it was. When he bit it, he bit it. Rocky's got one too right here. Let's see what we got. He's got a big, big. big white bass. Boy, that's a big white bass. Yeah, I got a good fish right here. Oh, look here. Big bass. I mean, it's a good, I mean, a big bass. 
Oh my. Oh my. Look here. Oh my. That is a whopper a daddy, folks. Whopper mama. I'm, I'm telling y'all, hey, there's no sport on this planet like the sport of fishing. That is a monster largemouth right here. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> my good. <laughs> oh, my. All right, now, Rocky, y'all may not know this, but he's one of the best taxidermists in the United States. He's. And he can probably guess the weight on that fish. Well, I can guess it, but we're going to weigh him. I got my scales. I want you to look what a... Golly, what a solid fish. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me get your hook out for you. Uh, I, I can do it. There we go. Yeah, that's a good bass. Oh, my. Yeah. I knew that was a good fish when I stuck her, folks. That's what we come for. That's what we come for. On it. Six pounds, six and a half pounds. Six and a half pounds, that's still a good fish, folks. A good fish. I'm not disappointed at all. Look at that, what a fish. <laughs> a picture of hell. Let's let her go. We'll revive this one a little bit. She. We'll revive this one a little bit. She come out of some deep water. Well, that's a pretty bass. That's a pretty fish. There she went right there. There she down. went. Good deal, Richard. Well, Rocky. <laughs> hey, let's catch another. Let's, let's catch one. Okay, I want y'all to look at that bait. See how frisky it is? That's what those live, those live bait wells do for you right there. And yes, I had a question or two. Do you add salt? I, we do. Definitely. But that is a big thread fin. I mean, that, that thread fin is about six inches long, and that's big for a thread fin. All right, I got me two split shots on here so I can get it down quicker. We got a little bit more current right in here, so I had to add another split shot. These are size number three split shots so i've got two of them on boy that's a frisky bait oh my goodness that's what you want right there i'm on i'm gonna pitch right there again that wall wait for something to come down it oh my that fish is all over it folks all over it y'all about ready to put some steel in him there he is got it yeah that's a good fish right here now this is gonna be a bass or something <laughs> something big oh my goodness i believe it's a small hybrid or if that's a white bass, he's the world record. Small hybrid. Yeah, they're fighters. Now, hybrid, yeah, that's a hybrid. Look at there. Now, you can tell the difference. Oh, man, what a pretty fish. Now, that's fat. I've never seen one that gold. I've never seen one that gold, no. <laughs> he's a stout. <laughs> Is that not a chunk? Look at that thing. Look at the belly on this. My goodness, what a chunk. There you go, Richard. And folks, that's not a big hybrid by no means. Now, we, me and Rocky's caught some big hybrids here. Matter of fact, Rocky had the world record, <laughs> and we released him. I want y'all to know that's a fact. That's a fact. But look at the colors on this fish. This fish has got a lot of gold in him. And broad, my goodness. When I get this size, they pull. They got the power. Is that not beautiful? Let's let him go. There he goes. Let me do this right here. This is getting going right here. Get. 
That's all it takes right there. <laughs> What we're doing right now is drifting. We're, we're doing a little different technique. Now we're in about 16 feet of water. What's the water temperature? Uh, 61, on, almost 62. 62 degrees on top. So it's possible we might catch another small mouth. We're gonna make another drift. And in drifting, this is another great application for braid. You got straight direct contact when i get bit there's no stretch in this braid i can get a good jolt on that fish whatever bites that's very important when you're drifting all i'm doing and and the size of your split shot makes a big difference real big difference too heavy ain't too good you'll stay hung up too light and it won't make contact with the bottom like you want it to. I want that split shot to go tick, 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 tick right along the bottom. Cause that's where these fish has been relating to. What they do is they get in behind boulders and rocks on the down current side and they face the current. And when that shad comes over that rock, if that fish sees it, that's an eat shad. So that's all we're doing right here. And if you notice, I keep my bait moving all the time. What that does, it helps you from getting hung up. And also it grabs attention from fish. Even though it's live bait, I try to keep it moving at all times. My, my, there's a fish right there, folks. Yeah, he's coming to me. This is a big shad, so I'm gonna let him have it just a little bit. And then we're going to souse the hook to him. There he is. Let's see what we... Yeah. Smallmouth. Got us a smallmouth right here. So what we got right here is a Tennessee River Slam. He ain't a very big one, but he's a pretty little smallmouth. Look at the colors involved in that fish. I, let's see. I don't, I don't know. Is it? No. Oh, that's dead. Yeah, that's, that's a little, something's wrong with his tail there. That's a small mouth, folks. He'd, he'd be about 16 inches, maybe, if he had a tail. But that's a Tennessee River Slam. Let's let him go. There he goes. Okay, that's my blood right there, folks. What happened, one of them mentor eaters uh, opened me up a while ago. I was talking about that. Opened me up like a can of sardines, but let's catch another one. When it comes to sensitivity, braid is the way to go, I believe. You can get a direct hook set, very little, well, really no stretch in your line. Now, that's a small mouth. That's probably a small mouth. Oh, look at that. Look at there. That's a good small mouth. Wait a minute and I'll get a net. Rocky, that's a good one. Wait just a second. Yep. I seen him. There's some small mouth in here right now then. Yep. We got him. Oh my goodness, and that's what we're after right there. Look at there, what a big small mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, now when they hit that top of the water, they hit it, don't they? That hook just away. Well, that's good enough. <laughs> you got to keep pressure on them. You can't give them no slack. That's a good fish. That's that's chunky. How much? Eh, four. Four pound. A good four, maybe more. What do you think? Ain't that pretty? Take a good look at that right there. My, 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 my. Good solid fish. That's, that's a good one that's right nice there. there. There he goes. What we done, we started out up at the dam up there, and Richard caught that really nice big large mouth, six and a half pounder. And, but we kept catching all these manorators. And the bait we have today is like filet mignon. They're like gold, They're too. They're like gold. And, and 
and and these white bass just moved in there and they just kept eating their bait so i told richard we're gonna have to do something else because i just don't like feeding these minnow eaters this this prime rib you know what i mean so we, we went over there and drifted down richard caught a nice little small mouth and then we moved over here we ain't been here five minutes Richard done caught a spotted bass, and I just got me a big smallmouth. And Richard, if he can catch a big smallmouth. We're fixing to catch one, <laughs> folks. We're fixing to do it. Let's catch another. Uh-oh. Is that another mall mouth? Hey. Is it? Oh, my goodness. Is it a big one? Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Fight him down now. I think it's big <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a good lick right there. That's a lick, folks. <laughs> yeah, we've established it's a lick. A lick. Y'all ready? Let's get him. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's a good one. Is it gonna come up to the top? What's it gonna do, Rocky? I don't know what he's gonna do. Our fish is pulling hard now. He is. Oh yeah. Good fish right there. God. I believe they. Yeah, I had. I caught that one on the end of a long cast. That's a good spot. Oh my, 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 my. No. Oh, God. There you go. That's a nice one right there. It is. Nice quality fish. Thick. Let's let him go, folks. That was a lot of fun. So we know they're probably a little bit deeper. Get on back in there, boy. We know they're probably just a little bit deeper and won't be fishing. We're going to probably move out a little bit. I don't know. But let's catch another Let's catch another one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Well, folks, it's time for us to go. The only reason we're going is because we're being run out of here. It ain't because we want to go. Usually, me and Rocky go, it's either raining or there's a tornado coming. <laughs> That's the kind of weather we like. Yeah, it's blowing in here. It's blowing in here, so we got to quit. And the fish is shut down, I mean. Hey, we've had a good day. We did. Had a good we, day. we did. Yeah. We did. What fish we've caught were healthy fish. They were. Good fish. Oh my goodness. It's white capping out here now. All right, folks. <laughs> we're going to get out of here. Hey. Doggone it. Woo!